Hey, Papa B here. Welcome to my channel. And don't forget, at the end of the videos, subscribe and like our videos. It helps us get more time on YouTube. So we're gonna get started doing a little winter prep. Uh, probably put a pollen patty and some dry sugar in the hive. We wanna make sure we don't have any problems getting through the, uh, the winter that we have here in Texas. So without any further ado, we'll get going. I got a little tape on here that I put on during the rain. Get that off right quick. Just in case they didn't get a chance to propolize this top. It's not the best top in the world. I'm gonna be replacing that too today with one without a feeding hole in it because I won't be feeding them any syrup from now on out. So here we go. Make sure our queen is not up here on the inner cover, and she is not. Oh lordy, we got lots of bees in there, lots of bees. But, looks like we got about one, two, three, four, five, about six frames of bees. And we're betting on these being winter bees. What do you think about that? Let's see if we have any issues here with uh, with hive beetles. Not a single one. Not a single one in there. One beetle. One beetle. So we know one of them found its way here, didn't we? Here we go. Here we go. Not a whole lot going on. They are starting to build up in the uh, in the hive where where it was uh, where I had knocked a bunch of the cone out of the hive because it was uh, it was messed up. So let's get going. And the next one over. They are doing some repair work on this one. And on this side, lots of honey and nectar. And they built out on this older hive some. They are, uh, they're pretty gentle today. Fairly gentle. Now this, they've got this thing built out all the way and got it about uh, about a half full of capped honey. And on this side, they built it out all the way and got it about half full of, of capped honey. Look at that. Is that a cluster of ladies or not? I really clustered up there. Loving it. And it'll get a little ornery. A little bit of smoke. Let's just try to keep them honest. Okay, on this side, 
it is uh, about a third capped honey. It looks very, very good. Very good. Again, same thing over here. Same thing. And there are some brood in here. Not a whole lot. But we do have some brood in there. I like that. Like that. Now getting on to the middle here. We got a little gal being born there, coming out. They, uh, they're looking good. Looking good. Count brood, honey, and ladies. And we'll go back into that one. Woo, this thing's heavy. They are just uh, clustering up here. They are clustering up. Oh Lord, look at this, look at this side here. It is completely capped. Completely capped. Looking good. I think I'm going to have the same situation on this next one here. Yeah, boy, it's heavy. Yeah, it's 75% it's capped on that side. And it's probably a third of the way capped on, on the opposite side, as you can see. Now these next two don't, just don't look like they're doing much with them. They have drawn this out a pretty good bit on both sides and they have done absolutely nothing to this one. And when I say nothing, I mean nothing. There was a roach in there that I just slung away. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this one over and I'm gonna move this one over closer to the to the outside and then I'm gonna put this one that they've not even drawn out yet next on there and then this one that's partially drawn out on both sides next and we'll see what we can do with this then we'll start going back to some of these ladies they made a bridge down here with their bodies. We'll get them back close like that. I think they're going to start right away bridging those uh, frames back up. All right now, ladies, don't get upset. Don't get upset. 
Still got a little way to go here. Still got a little way to go. And we'll put these two back pretty much like we had them. I'm gonna turn this one around to the wall. Like that. Then I'm gonna put this one back in. Slide it right down in the edge. Now I'm gonna take out my, my hanger. Okay. That's where we're at right now. So, I'm gonna put a pollen patty in here. So they've got some pollen. They can eat if they want it. If they don't, they don't have to. I want them to come out of this, this stuff. I want them to come out strong. Uh, this winter come into the spring with a good attitude and I'm just going I'm going to give them the whole one put it right there then I'm going to get a piece of newspaper and I'm going to give them some dry sugar this is something that I saw 628 dirt rooster do and I thought it was a pretty good idea Put a little bit of newspaper up here. Then pour some dry sugar on it. This is going to do two things. It's going to feed them and it's going to allow them uh, something to actually soak up some moisture if it gets in the, in the hive. I'll put a fairly good bit. Enough to act a little bit like a sponge. Okay. Got that in there. Then. I've got a spacer here. It's going to uh, give them a little bit of room. Up here. Then my inner cover. That we're going to put on keeping the spacer and we do have a vent right here on this end that will also vent out some moisture and a new top this new top does not have a feeding hole it's going to set right down on everything got a little plexiglass window on it there and then we're going to stop the uh, sunlight from getting in there. Okay, uh, you've seen number one. I'm going to get set up here and go for the other one, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 